my core message to anybody really is that there is conditioning you are living in. It's a conditioned society. If you break free of that conditioning, if you break free of the belief system you have subscribed to, you will start to see the real you. Then the search is going to end, because truly there is nothing to be searched. If you don't know where you are going, any road will take you there. If you don't know what God looks like, how will you identify Him? If I tell you, I know this ten-year-old child and he's lost, can you please help me find him? You'll say, okay, what does he look like? And I say, that I don't know. If you don't know what it looks like, then how will you ever know even if it's in front of you? The musk is in deer's womb, but he's searching for it everywhere. But what does it mean turning inward? You must have heard this expression a million times. It's almost a cliche now. <laughs> you know, live in the moment, live in the moment. What is living in the moment? Do you not plan then for your future? Of course you should plan for your future. Can you let go of your past? It is actually not in your hands. You cannot choose what thought comes to your mind. If anybody promises you that, discard that person, he's lying. You can only ever choose what thoughts you pursue in your mind or in your actions. That is really the only thing you can do. Imagine if you are completely contented with who you are, with what you are. Then there is nothing to search. It is when you think what I have is not what I should have. There is something else I should have. That's when you begin the search. <coughs> And then like Dev Rishi Narada, you are always roaming around. In your mind there is no end. Going around the universe. Because who can give you what is not there? If you don't have it already, then nobody can give you. The thing is, and I hope I can get my message across when I say this, you are searching because you are not comfortable with yourself. You have not accepted yourself completely. You have not started loving yourself yet. That is why you want to go by some definition that is written somewhere or somebody else's framework. There was a man once. He went to the sage who was in a cave. And the sage was on his own. And he went there and he said, Oh, you must feel very lonely here. You must feel very lonely here. He said, Now that you are here, I am feeling very lonely indeed. But earlier, I was enjoying my own company. When you lose your connection with the Source, it's like a child, a grown-up child, one who's growing up, a teenage child. He's turned rebellious. 
he believes or she believes most of the time my parents don't have the knowledge I'm looking for somehow I have to go outside they don't understand what I mean they don't know today's generation but I know people outside who do so he starts to go outside the more outside he goes the more confused he becomes the more he starts to learn to live outside why do you enjoy socializing why do we enjoy being in parties or watching TV or reading newspaper because they all disconnect you from your source they all make you forget they all make you forget you about you you don't know you, you no longer have to think about yourself about what you really want and that's a problem because I'm feeling hungry outside I internally I'm feeling hungry but now I'm feeding some external mechanism to make my hunger go away it's not gonna happen Jnana Vijnana Tripta Atma Kutastho Vijit Indriya Yukti Tichyate Yogi Samloshtasham Kanchana Tripta hai, Santushta hai, Content hai He is not or she is not searching for any science No art No explanations No questions He has discovered a bhav and is firmly situated in it Somebody came to Ramakrishna Paramahansa once he was a very simple devotee, an enlightened person. He lived his life in extreme simplicity. And he said, we started talking about Ved and Vedanta and, and, and all that dry knowledge. Please let me tell you, this is very, very dry knowledge. You can chant, you can talk about scriptures till the cows come home, but you are still as dry as you were when you started talking then. Because there is only so much empty space and you have started filling it in now with somebody else's viewpoint. And for four hours this man talked. Because earlier Ramakrishna was a simple guy, he encouraged him to talk and he kept on talking. And he said, oh, what else is written in that Upanishad? What else is written in the scripture? And this guy kept on going. Four hours later, he said, listen, I don't know all this. The only thing I know is there is a Ma and there is me and I'm his child. That's all that matters. Truly, if you ask yourself, what actually matters? If you're doing good karma, if you're doing if you are leading a moral life, if your existence is of use to somebody, if somebody is being helped because you are surviving and thriving and living on this planet, then you are doing your job just fine. 